Capricorn, hi. So this is going to be a reading for October 4th through the 10th. And I'll take a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, if they do <laughs> there is an extended at the end of the video. You can check out all the info about that in the description box below if you want. Cappy? I had to move back into my sunroom. Um, I missed it. I missed my table, my big table. Those of you that have been with me for quite some time are like, oh, there's a table. And now both cats and my dog can fit on this table because it's huge. I freaking missed it. And I missed the space. Yeah. I just thought, hey, let me, let me set something up down there. So. Back to you, Cappy. Let's see. Let's see what's going on. Cool. The overall energy for the reading, the magician. Pretty cool energy. Uh, I feel like you're in manifester mode. You manifest left and right. So be cautious with that because sometimes we can manifest negative stuff too. Um, in the recent past, you get the King of Swords, the Lovers, the High Priestess. Alright, so there's love here. There's you pursuing love intuitively. It kind of feels like, yeah, this is it. At least at that time it felt to you like, yeah, I'm going for it because this is it. I have no idea what happened, but it's here. In the current situation, you get the Eight of Cups, the Emperor, the Fool. It's like you're releasing something, and as you release this something, whatever this something is, it gives you more, more of a boost, you know, to take life, here I am, give it to me, you know, uh, more freely, more open. I don't know what this transition is for you, but this one feels good too. In the immediate future, you get the Queen of Wands, the Temperance card, the Ace of Wands. Interesting. There's a lot of passion that's coming in here for you in terms of your feeling a lot of passion. But I feel like you're um, not throwing yourself into whatever brings you this kind of feeling like this. Um, not necessarily to the point of, oh, there it is. I'm so passionate about it. So I don't care about anything else. It's kind of like you're not holding yourself back either. You're just not responding as a first instinct to, oh, I'm so attracted to this, I'll just go, I don't care about anything. You know, you're kind of tempered. If the temperance card is here, you're kind of tempered. Um, let's see, let's clarify. Let me clarify the magician. Page of Pentacles, the Knight of Swords, the Fool. There's a Fool which you have in your current situation. You've got a lot of um, good stuff. I feel like you... Courage you had all this time. You just didn't give yourself enough credit. There's this kind of like a new discovery that you've made. Like, oh my God. I have courage or I'm determined to do something and it was always there. I just didn't feed this energy or there's this kind of discovery on your side. Like, look at me, look at me go. Um, and it's, it's feeling good. It's feeling like it, it, it gives you even more power. It gives you even more drive to follow whatever it is that you're following here. Cause you're manifesting something. I don't know what that is, but it feels good. Um, Hmm. Let me do the lovers in the uh, recent past. Couldn't find it. I almost said secret past. I hope it's not a secret. For the lovers, you get the strength card, the king of wands, the two of swords. Okay. Um, there's love that showed up in your life. And I feel like even though you felt certain things, good things towards it, um, it also brought a lot of confusion for you. 
you know, so I don't see you necessarily, even though the determination is there, a lot of things are there, good things towards it, I don't see you necessarily grabbing the opportunity and going with it, you know? Not at the beginning, at least. Felix, you brought me the wand? You brought me the wand. Okay, let's do the High Priestess. Can you bring us the wand? For us to see are you gonna take your wand to the toilet really but but i'm not even gonna no it's okay go for the high priestess you get the seven of cups the world card the moon i feel like you've reached this place where a lot of things started feeling good to you started feeling like i should go with this but no this one feels good too but everything feels good what the hell what, what are my options here and because of that because everything felt you know kind of balanced kind of the right way to go it almost feels like you shut down to your intuition like i'm i'm, I'm just not gonna go anywhere anymore um It doesn't quite make sense, but I feel like this is how it comes in, in, in the sense of maybe you've reached this point of alignment where everything does seem to fall into place, everything does seem right, where you feel like at some point you're too busy with things going right, you know, if you're in that balanced place within yourself. And I feel like you reached that point and then it got possibly overwhelming, like everything is tying up and I got to put energy in this and this and this to sustain this balance here. Um, but instinctively, you may have shut down. You may, you may have felt overwhelmed here, you know, for some reason. Let's do the Eight of Cups in the current situation. Queen of Cups, the Magician, the Page of Cups. Hmm. So you're manifesting love and love does come in, but I feel the light of that dimming somehow, you know, either, yes, it looked like it could possibly be something, but it's starting to fade out somehow. It, it feels like it's not necessarily growing, but kind of going backwards a little bit, even though it came in strong this love that you were manifesting. So I kind of see you mm, almost not interested anymore or almost in that place of, mm, because it's, you know, instead of growing, it's not. Eh, kind of like that a little bit towards this. There's a situation that definitely looked a whole lot better when it showed up versus how it is now. Uh, for the Emperor, you get the Justice card, the Page of Wands, the Two of Cups. You're still in it, though. You're still participating in this. There's still a sense of curiosity. There's still that sense of, even though, eh, yeah, let's, let's, let's be here with it for now. Kind of like, I have no plans with this. I don't know where it's going to go, and I don't really, really care to find out like a hundred percent but you know i have nothing better to do it, not quite like that but a little bit in that direction of eh, i'll just go with it whatever you know a little bit of mm. you don't see you fully invested in here and you shouldn't be if you don't feel like you should you know do whatever feels right um for the fool Six of Swords, Queen of Pentacles, the Hermit. There's this call towards you. There's this call from you towards you, basically. You know, where I feel like there's still work to be done on yourself. And you're probably in the middle of that. And it feels like I need to do more. You know, I need to... So maybe that's where your energy is at. Maybe that's why you're not fully investing in this. Because again, I see you giving to this, but priority is you here. Um, let's do the Queen of Wands in the immediate future.
the death card the ace of pentacles the five of wands priorities change priorities are starting to change for you at least and when that happens it might create conflict because i feel like there's an energy keeping this running whatever you have going on with someone here and it could be based on physical attraction and when priorities change and when you decide this is not really what i want but this even though you're proposing it to whoever this is it could create conflict it could create a sense of well i don't really want this but i do you know so <clears throat> there's a sense of priorities changing here and thus, I see you not responding to this physical attraction, not in the way that you used to. Let's do the Temperance card, King of Pentacles, Seven of Wands, King of Swords. My God, you have so much determination here. It's like nothing's going to stop me to achieve what I want to achieve. And what you want to achieve by the looks of these energies is stability. You know, that sense of, I got it. And until then, I don't see you necessarily throwing yourself into anything um, that has to do with love. Not 100%. I see you giving chances. I see you rolling with whatever comes your way in that direction, but not investing in it like you are investing in yourself right now. You know? Let's do the Ace of Wands in the immediate future. Ace of Cups, Four of Cups, Page of Swords. Because you want love. You do want love. That's the that's the crazy energy here that shows up. Because I see you underneath wanting love, not understanding why it's not coming together necessarily. Uh, really kind of being disappointed in what's happening in the Department of Love. And you don't quite understand, so it's creating a little bit of conflict because you see yourself going in that direction and giving energy in that direction. What you don't get is that your energy is not fully there. It's someplace else. Your focus may be someplace else. If you find yourself in that, ooh, I gotta do this for myself, whatever this is, a new job, school, whatever this is, that's where your focus is. That's why love is not necessarily presenting itself yet in the way you may want to. Because your energy is not 100% there. Uh, let's see what the universe has to close it off. Ten of Cups, Knight of Pentacles, Knight of Wands. Yeah, I mean, you're heading in a good direction even when it comes to love. But until you are done with this energy towards self mm, how do i put this you can't really take away from your focus your intention in the present moment which is on something else and throw it in the direction of love because to you energetically at least it doesn't work that way at least now because you're too focused in the direction of you um of growing in the material world you know, so when you're done achieving that, then yes, you can take the, your energy and shift it in the direction of love. So right now you are heading in that direction of love, but currently there's this sort of a wall barrier you're putting up. Because again, I mean, to me it kind of makes sense that that's why it's happening, because you're focused in a different direction for now. So that's what I have for you. Hope this helped and I'll see you next time. Bye.